Hi, welcome to Tennessee in my shipping container house. I'm Joe. I'm Charlie. I'm Aiden. And we're working on my shipping containers today. We're, we've put two shipping containers together and we cut out the middle wall. So now we're 16 feet wide. When we took the middle wall out, we're left with a scar in the ceiling. I'm going to put a glue lamb over it to hide it. We're going to go from this framed wall and we're going to go all the way to this framed wall. There's going to be closets there and that's going to carry the glue lamb, which will carry the ceiling and it'll hide that scar. On the floor, I'm gonna go with three inches of poured concrete. So it'll be real nice on the floor. Some of these shipping containers have a real nice flooring. Real nice, you could almost, you could almost just leave that alone. And some of them have, it looks like an underlayment. It's just, it's just, it's just plywood. So that's something to think about. If, if you want all the same flooring, if you're gonna use the flooring in the shipping containers, you might want to buy them all at the same time. I also have one shipping container that has bamboo floor in it. It looks really nice, but we're going to cover that up. The next thing is, is when you're cutting out these middle walls, that's how it looks. We're following the welds all the way down. The welds are uh, vertical on the panels and they're 43 inches apart. And you can see right here on this one, this is where the weld was and we cut Fortunately, the weld is on this side towards me and not on this part. If we tried cutting here following it, we'd probably cut into the next shipping container. So luckily for us, we followed the welds. You can see our cut marks right here. And a saw blade would not reach in and hit the other, other shipping container. Also, if you're going to maybe put down hardwood flooring and you want to nail it down, you're going to run into one little problem. It's called the gooseneck end. That's, that's the term they use. And there's a sticker on the outside of the shipping containers, gooseneck end. What it is, is it's a piece of metal. It's this metal plate right here. So the, the, the floor is all wood except for the gooseneck end. Charlie's measuring this right now. How wide is that, Charlie? 41 inches. It's 41 inches wide. And how long? Aiden, help me with that tape measure. And it's 10 foot too long. All right, so it's 10 foot too long. So something to remember if you're gonna, for your flooring, if you want to nail it down. And also, there's a piece of metal that goes all the way across the shipping container. Eight foot feet. It's, it's, it's eight foot wide. It's as wide as the uh, shipping container. It's four inches wide. And it's, it's four inches wide. So I hope all these little information uh, bits and pieces help you out. All right, well, you guys have a great day, and thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.